Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk. This is Love Lamb Week. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking this beautiful leg of lamb over fire on the rotisserie with some lovely Greek flavors on there. It's gonna be beautiful, let's crack on. So I've got this beautiful leg of lamb here that I'm gonna cook over fire on the rotisserie. We're gonna be cooking it tomorrow because we're gonna get a marinade on this and stick it back in the fridge overnight. Now the marinade is gonna be a nice, simple Greek marinade. It's gonna consist of oil, lemon, garlic, oregano, rosemary, paprika, salt and pepper, and that is it. So what we're gonna to do to prepare this, um, it's a beautiful leg of lamb, nicely prepared anyway, but we're just gonna score the skin. That's gonna enable us to get that marinade deeper into the lamb, and then we're gonna pop it in the fridge overnight and come back, get a fire going, get the rotisserie going, and spin this until it's done. With lamb, I like to cook it to an internal temperature of around 55, 56 degrees. I'm gonna be doing that with my thermopen. pen. Obviously cook to temperature, not to time. People always ask, when will the lamb be ready? When will the chicken be ready? It's ready when it's ready. It's ready when the thermopen pen says it's 55 degrees inside and we're gonna take it off and rest. So let's show you how we prepare this. Start by just scoring the skin like so. We're gonna do this in a nice diamond pattern. So that's crisscross. Now we're gonna make our marinade. For the marinade, we're gonna go in with two or three tablespoons of oil. To that, we're gonna go in with a couple of teaspoons of garlic paste, about a tablespoon and a half of oregano, about a teaspoon of rosemary, teaspoon of paprika, pinch of chili flakes. We're gonna go in with the juice of a lemon, about a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're just gonna give that a good mix to combine. So you can see, nice and simple, but all these flavors complement the lamb beautifully. And then we're just gonna take this and pour some of that over there, and then use your hands and rub that in. Beautiful color already. So that's the marinade, job done. We're gonna cover this up with some clean film, pop it in the fridge overnight, and the next time you see me, it's gonna be daytime, and we're gonna light a fire. See you then. So here is our lamb that's been marinating overnight. Beautiful color on there. That's the lamb loaded onto the spit. We've got the fire on the go. I'm cooking this on my portico home from Country Fire Kitchen. Do enjoy cooking this way over live fire. Started with a bed of charcoal though and um, with some homework charcoal there just to get things going. And then we're gonna keep topping it up with this lovely silver birch wood, which is just gonna give us a subtle touch of smoke on the lamb. It's gonna be pretty damn good. I'm gonna pop this under there, which is gonna catch a lot of the fat when it drips down, catch a lot of the juices, but then we're gonna get a lovely Greek flavored orzo on the go in this a bit later on. So any fat that drips down, we're gonna get a bit of heat under here a bit later on, and we're gonna use that for our orzo dish. So that's the lamb on, the fire's going. We're gonna keep topping this up with silver birch. I'm now gonna make a baste, which is essentially the same as what we've used as the marinade. And we're gonna be brushing that on every 10 minutes or so with a rosemary brush. I'm already salivating. Let's crack on. So onto the orzo dish. We've got this lamb fat that's been dripping into here, so we're gonna sweat down the onions. We don't actually need to put any heat under here just yet um, because this fire is heating up this cast iron pan nicely. Cast iron holds heat really well. So we want to really gently sweat down the onions. So this is a perfect heat. So we're just gonna pop those in and just give those a good stir. Remember, we're cooking these nice and gently. So just get them coated in that fat. And we're just gonna cook those down until they are nice and soft. So I've just popped a few coals under the pan now because we want to increase the heat. So I'm going to put the tomatoes in there. We're going to get some stock in there. We're going to get the orzo in there um, and just some salt and pepper, some oregano and a touch of cinnamon. But those onions are done. So we're going to go ahead and build the rest of the dish.
gonna get this off. The orzo is done, so we're gonna get this off. We're gonna let this rest for about half an hour before we serve up. There we go, there's my Mediterranean style leg of lamb cooked on the rotisserie over fire, over silver birch, getting the lick of smoke, a lick of flame. We've cooked it to about 56 degrees internal temperature, which is exactly how I like my lamb. We've done that using the thermo pen. We've also done the orzo dish. Obviously we had those juices from the lamb dripping down into that orzo dish. The smells are incredible. Uh, the, the lamb's been resting for half an hour now, so I think we're ready to carve in and have a taste. Can't wait any longer. Let's go in, have a little taste, see how we've done. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Those Mediterranean flavours, Greek flavours, really, really complement lamb well. We're just gonna take a bit of that lamb with that orzo. Absolutely beautiful. So that was my Mediterranean style leg of lamb, cooked over fire. So the thermo pen, again, taking the guesswork out of cooking, always cook to temperature, not to time, because if you cook to time, you're just gonna end up disappointed time and time again. As you can see there, I'm not disappointed, I'm very happy. So I'm gonna take this in, serve it up, dig in, can't wait. Thanks for watching, I've been The Smoking Elk, you've been brilliant, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.